Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. I gotta clean my glasses here. It's okay because this is gonna take a while. We're in an AT8. We have a Jeb 2 from Clan Lazy D. And he's on Ghost Himmel's Town Dorf. We're gonna go for a drive first. This one is called No Kill Cap All. <laughs> if you. <laughs> If you've watched as many replay videos as I have, or as many replays as I have, and made as many videos, commented on them as much as I have, you've seen a lot. You've seen a lot of different things, and I know a lot of you have been along on the journey, so you've seen a lot of goofy things happen on replays, and this is, uh, well, this is another one to put in the list of what the frick. <laughs> All right. Notice the deployment. We're on assault on Ghost Himmel's Dwarf Town, Aurelia. And we're just, uh, we're on a drive. We got some guys down in the south. There's a stug out there in the field. We sent some guys to town. I'll just let you kind of take a look at the deployment. And we'll just, uh, we're having a nice little drive through Ghost Town. You know, I, I imagine there's probably a... Uh, Somebody giving a tour. We got the tour guide in there. He's talking about the various buildings of this old derelict town and the various historical things that have happened back in the Soviet era. Uh, you know, the playground was put up in the 1950s as the Soviets were starting the space program. Uh, these sheds right here used to house T-34s during World War II. Uh, on the right is a shoe factory that never made a shoe. I don't know, something. Oh, look at the glass on that. I've never noticed that. Hold on, this is an opportunity for free cam. Shut, wait a minute, hold on. There we go. What's going on here? Can I go in? I can go in. There's snow in here, there's, there's stairs. Can we go up the stairs? We can go up the stairs. What is in this building? Oh, not a whole bunch, just, uh, can we watch? Jeb drive by? We Again, like a partisan. Oh, partisan fell out the window. All right. <laughs> like, a, like a partisan watching Jeb go by. <laughs> I should have made the whole video watching from a window. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad damn idea. That is not a bad idea. Let me just pause it for a second. Let me, let's find a nice vantage point. Because we're not going to need to move. Oh, there's a bed. We are not going to need to move. We just need a window that's near where Jeb's going to be. Let's see. Oh, a balcony, a balcony suite. How about from the balcony suite here? We'll just watch from the balcony. Let's see here. I don't know. I get a little crazy here. We'll watch from this window. The roof. Let's watch from the roof. That's a little more realistic. Go. Oh no, it's down. Up. Okay. We're going to watch from this roof a vantage point of Jeb. So we've climbed the roof, and here comes Jeb. Jeb along a ding-dang, driving along in his automobile. And we're up on the roof. We can kind of move around if we want. Look at the, we got destroyed. Look at all these ships just laying around in the sand. How did this happen? Is this the Pocky Lips? Why is that guy dead? He's dead right there. Anyway, we got Jeb down there. And uh, he's taking on the guy over there. He's shooting people. And he has he has gone with all cap, no kill. No kill, cap all. Oh, he's taking hits. The M8, A1, the Stug's shooting at him. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's very angry. The shots are coming. I like how the damage marker thing still works while we're in. We can't see the thing down there though. That's a little bit irritating. So we're just we've driven on the cap, folks. We just drove on the cap. Oh, the M8A1 is angry. He has gone to HE. There's a 320 bounced from the T28 F30 thing. Making a little shift. Just rocking back and forth. Everyone and their dog is shooting at us. They definitely don't want me on the cap. There's a 100 Y directly behind us. The WZ is getting in on the action. The M8A1 is shooting HE still. The 100 Y gets hit. <laughs> the WZ has snuck up on us. We're <laughs> we got tracked. 
Boom, boom. Oh, shots coming in from every direction. Look at the damage block down below. Damage caused, damage by shot, damage upon spotting, bounce, and he bounce, bounce. What on earth? <laughs> All right. We're at 3,190. If we were watching from this vantage point where the damage counter would have worked, we would have saw that thing ring up like it was some kind of jackpot, some kind of jackpot in the slot machines. So this guy, we're just aiming on him. We kill him. There he goes. We're down to 19 hit points, and we bounced 3,700. There's some more bounced. We're just... <laughs> we blap him. We take another bounce from the T6 medium. We have 800 damage. We have 4,270. We get another kill. We've killed three of them. We're just driving around, trying to... <laughs> oh, man. And we're finally killed by the Stoke 3B. Did I not tell you you would see things you have never seen? Well, you might wonder why it was that Jeb could be sitting on cap that long, take that many hits, dish out a decent amount of pain, get some assist, and the team hasn't absolutely murderized this other team. Because there were at least five, six, seven tanks shooting at Jeb. Well, one of the reasons is, we'll just let Jeb show you because... He's going to actually start looking around. And if you've watched the map, the mini-map, you might have noticed this. Uxus. U-C-S-U-S-21. -S and his KV-2 has been guarding the spawn. <laughs> what we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> now... There are a lot of ways to misplay your tank on a map and a mode. But I would say that there are fewer worse ways in this game than to be on Himmel's Ghost Town Dwarf, Aurelia, and sit at the spawn on Assault in a Heavy. I mean, there's maybe some maps where... You could make an argument that sitting somewhere near spawn might help your team on assault. Perhaps Karelia or the one with the big mountain in the middle. Maybe that one's worse because you wouldn't actually have shots. I suppose he does have some supporting shots into the town. But uh, this is impressive. There was actually a fight over here, bizarrely. You know, so perhaps he's a, perhaps he's a closet genius. What do I know? I mean, he has damage. He's done damage. We're making a bold move now. Someone's attacking the T-24. So here comes the KV-2. He's running the 107, which is not that bad idea, especially now that the big derp gun's not as good. But we have absolutely been snipe a lamb a ding dang up here. He's being very careful. I mean, you don't want that Skoda T-24 to get the jump on you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, careful, dude. That's a 32 hit point Skoda T24. There you go. Let your buddy kill him. That's good. That You put yourself in no danger of any kind. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. I don't, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's a brand new player. Maybe it's, he's 10. Eight, five, three, I don't know. But, wow. That's a tough one. I mean, that's one of your heavies. Now let's just imagine that tank was actually playing in the right spot. And Jeb got on there and they got busy worrying about Jeb. And that thing started driving in behind everyone and absolutely obliterating things. He's got three kills. That's that, no, wait a minute, that's Jeb. What does this guy have? This guy has two kills. I don't know. Maybe it was the right move. They end up winning. So let me know, you know, down in the comments. Did the KV-2, I mean, was there a genius there that I just did not see? It's very possible. Very possible. But, uh, oh, the KV-1. As I said, no kill cap all. They actually ended up killing them all. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for sending that in. I, that was the dangest thing. You just drove around through town like you're having a little, having a little visit with the fam. 
drive right onto Cap. Like, how you got to Cap without being shot, I don't know to begin with. Basically, there was nobody on that side of the town that you came in from. And then just <laughs> taking hit after hit. 4,380. You'll we'll have to look at the cards and see if there's actually some more. I guess it doesn't miss. I don't think it miscounts bounces, but it might. Anyway, it's showing 4,380. Almost 1,000 damage. 1,111. That's bizarre. 999 on the damage. 1,111 on the assist. Well, there you go. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why people do these things. Thanks for sending that in, man.